Okay, hi. My name is Kathy Shell, and I'm with AE Solutions, and I'm the Global Congress Chair this year. And I want to introduce Michael Graff. Michael is the CEO of um, Air Liquide. And, it, and Michael joined us as our keynote speaker in our plenary session for the GCPS, and he presented on sustainability. So thank you very much for coming to the Congress and for joining us this year. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me, Kathy. It was, uh, it was a real pleasure to get the opportunity to speak to the group. Thank you. Um, you did a great job because you introduced and pulled in process safety and combination with sustainability and drove that forward as a combined platform, which I've always seen that, particularly when I saw the popularity of sustainability start kind of percolating up, right, and becoming more prevalent for organizations. And so I, I, I credit you for embracing that and pulling those together within your own organization. Do you, do you find, um, from the standpoint of building other champions inside your company within your own executive team, I mean, uh, what key positions have you seen on your executive committee that is going to be really important for you, I guess, on continuing to drive that forward? Well, I think first of all, whether it's safety or sustainability, it, it's kind of everybody's job, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, the reality is. is we all have a clear role to play. It's not yeah. something that you delegate to someone else. Right. And, and similarly here, you would find that every member of our executive committee, every executive in the organization, is not only clearly committed to safety or committed to what we are looking to achieve and enable with sustainability, but they're a part of all that we do. Yeah. And, and so they actively get engaged in long-term strategic thinking on it, they actively get engaged in the many projects or, or development areas that we have, and, and they actively assure that it's really within the fabric mm -hmm. of who we are. I mean, if you just looked at our, our own spend on R&D, and you looked at all the projects we have, more than 60% of all of those projects have a clearly substantial benefit either for human health or for the health of the planet, in addition to all the other things we're trying to that's do right. can, as we do that. But that's a part of it. But that's a part of it. Yeah, it's fundamentally that's a piece that we have to do, right? I've had the opportunity, it's been great, to interview various folks in, in similar positions to yourself because of a vision committee that I'm working on. I know you're involved in a lot of associations and things. And um, I guess one of the things that has been pointed out to me is that with the type of workforce that we're at now, a lot of your leadership positions actually change over quite a bit. You might have plant managers that are truly on a, you know, they may be there for a year, two years, that type of thing. So they're moving up, changing quite a bit. And that a lot of the opportunities for us to make a big difference sit at that frontline supervisor level. Have you seen within Air, have, within Air Key, have you seen a similar type of a, of a, um, effect going on yourself in that respect? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, absolutely. I think your point is, is, is well taken. It, it's not just at Ehrlich Key, but in, in the other peers that I have, for example, at the, the American Chemistry Council, yeah. sharing perspective with other CEOs, right. I think everybody is dealing with this issue. Right. Uh, the concept of how people entered an organization in the past and how they grew and evolved was di is different today. And, and also, the speed at which people move is also different. Mm -hmm. what, How what they consume we have, information. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. but they may not even know what to consume, right? right? right because right, of, right. you know, if, if someone started their career coming out of school as a chemical engineer and ended up in an engineering team or in plant operations, they, they took what they learned in school and then they applied it in a practical way. They ingrained those basic fundamentals in the world around them, and, and then they continued to grow and evolve and innovate in everything that we do every day. Mm -hmm. However, you've got a lot of people now who are outstanding leaders and very good at what they do. A lot of opportunity and innovation. Yeah. But they've never had those kinds of experiences. So how do you help them understand yeah. some of the basics of what to look for in safety or process safety as an example? Right. What questions to ask? How should they think about it? And to make sure they don't delegate it, to make sure they own it. So what we've done, recognizing this as part of our, our integrated uh, management system that we have right, on, you brought on that process up safety, your presentation. as part of the curriculum of training sessions we have, we actually have a two-day training session for senior managers and executives in, in the group, where they take two days out of their schedule and dedicate two full days to just learning and understanding safety. And how it fits in their operating model, exactly. I suspect, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah that same type of, a, of a integration. Into right. What and it comes with real world day. discussion, it comes with real world examples. Uh, we'll bring people in from other places to actually describe some of the things they've gone through, what they wish they would have asked. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. if they had been the leaders at the time. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. So you mentioned your role on the ACC as well underneath the Responsible Care. You said you're chairing the Responsible Care Correct. Committee. And Correct. And look at that. Um, and then, and then the new, you said there's a new initiative underway. On it's sustainability, yeah. 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 Just maybe just elaborate a little bit more on what they're doing. Maybe I should go down that one, the, um, the initiative that they're building on sustainability within ACC. So regarding sustainability, um, as we discussed earlier t today, you know, the, the world is looking at all, every aspect of how they are impacted and where do we go with sustainability long term? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all part of this and big ecosystem. worldwide, yeah. Exactly, we're global. all part of this big ecosystem, yeah, right? That's right. And, and so over time, as, as the world becomes a smaller place, we, we start to recognize more and more the impacts we have on each other, the decisions we take, what those impacts are, and, and a variety of other things. For, for the chemical industry, I think we've got a great story to tell. We have continued to go ahead and always deploy the best of technologies to always innovate, yeah. to collaborate, and in safety, especially through responsible care, in everything we do, whether it's plant operations, whether it's transportation and logistics, whether it's the utilization of our products, has always been at the forefront. And as the world has evolved, and, and we look at the questions the outside world is asking, and we see the challenges of sustainability in the world around us, we see the key areas of focus in several different ways. The first one is how do we design and operate our own facilities, mm -hmm. recognizing longer-term concerns on a particular ownership. matter and greenhouse gases and other affluents and those kinds of things. So we've got to make sure we are ex leading by example, that we're doing the right things. And so that's a part of it. Another key part of it is the products that we provide to the world around us, the services that we provide actually enable a great many very, very positive things, whether that's in food availability, whether that's in water, whether that's in healthcare, whether that's in future transportation needs, whether that's in energy conversion over time. You can go on and on, but it's almost as if every product that's produced and, and every technology that's innovated and deployed can have a very, very positive effect. And so we need to make sure that we manage ourselves in a good way. We also need to make sure we're trying to enable others in the world to do what they want to do in meeting their sustainability goals. And we also want to make sure people understand that we actually contribute in very positive ways. Yeah, and that you care and you can help influence or Absolutely. support them in that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Yeah, because truly in the industrial gas business, and as you pointed out, the diversity of the, mm -hmm. of the um, industries that you're right. servicing, right? You guys are kind of like the uh, kind of like the hub right there, right? And uh, with a lot of spokes. So it's it's it did the, is that what drew you into being very active from a responsible care ACC fashion? Did you actually take that on as an individual and took interest in that, or was that really? just because of the nature of the corporation that you are um, in charge of sure. right now, you guys really have an opportunity to influence through your right. own actions, right? right. It, and it's multifold. I mean, I mean, clearly as a company, we are driven. Uh, when, you, when we talk about being the leader in our industry, we just don't think about it in terms of revenues or products sold or whatever. Right. We think about it doing the right things in the world around us. Right. And it starts with safety and people, right? right? And the communities in which you operate. And right. so we work really hard to always be at the forefront of that. For me personally, I've always been driven by this. Yeah. Uh, I've also, very early in my career, I was able to understand you the importance of safety. Some of the yeah. Call. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and so that's always been a, something that resonated within me. And it's always been critical to anything I've ever done to make sure that we drove safety to, to the best level and, and always looking for ways to improve. So I think the combination of those two things is, is I was very involved in uh, the American Chemistry Council and also in responsible care led to the stewardship and, and the chair of responsible care for the organization. Yeah, you know, you shared um, one of the compelling uh, messages that you got early right in your career was um, of an operating supervisor, I think, mm -hmm. that came in and he did sort of his testimony, right, right exactly. around that. And I have uh, been involved myself in some of the type of leadership training, and I have found, similar to that, that those are the things that just rock you to the core, right? right. And that is a challenge for us, is to bring that lesson learned, that punch, to the new folks coming in and not have them live through that. Right. Um, that you know, so don't you wish you could reach back and grab that video and put it in front of everybody? That's exactly, doing it? exactly. Because I, you know, there's some really, there's ones like that that right. are really. 
And so you've got, we do our best to try and recreate that as best we can. Do, yeah. You can't quite recreate that exact moment. Yeah. Yeah. But utilizing can, video, you, utilizing you people to come in and talk, by the time you put it all together, yeah. it can be there. And, and I, yeah. for example, as we deployed our, our IMS program on, on safety, and we really began to deploy that, we knew we had to have examples. We knew we had to do things. And whether it's internal examples, whether it's things we can bring from the outside world, you've got to continue to leverage things because that makes it real. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Well, I really appreciate you joining us today. I know it's in transit as you're making more world travels, but thank you very much. Thank you, and thanks for inviting me.